hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install kali linux on your android phone now the only requirement is that you have at least 40 gigabytes of free storage and 4 gigabytes of ram first we need to download temox netwanta store and hackers keyboard i'll provide the link to each and every one of these apps in the video description now let's open hackers keyboard and then enable keyboard enable hackers keyboard okay okay now we can head back and then open netwanta store now search for kex and then install netwanta kex which we are also going to use for the installation so let's click on install so we should have temox hackers keyboard netwanta store and netwanta kex and then we can begin the installation successfully installed now let's head back and then open temox let's run the first command to set up temox storage by typing in temox dash setup dash storage type it exactly as it is seen on the screen and then click on allow now type in the next command to change temox repository so we can update our packages temox dash change dash repo and then hit enter now hit enter to select the repository and then we are going to choose mirrors by albatross that is the repository we are using hit enter to continue now let's run pkg updates hit enter and it should update the packages now if you get any prompt like this just enter y and then hit enter to continue now let's run the next command to install wget which we're going to use for installing kali linux pkg install wget and then hit enter y means yes to continue now let's type in the next command to extract the script for installing kali linux you can get this command from the video description so you can just copy and paste directly instead of typing it which you might make mistake while doing that and then hit enter Also type in the next command to run the file we just downloaded chmod plus x and then the file name which is install nethunter-temox and then hit enter. Now we can run the script by entering dot slash install dash nethunter-temox. hit enter and we can select the image we want to install in this case we want to install the full image which is number one hit enter and it should take a while to check the package and download the file size is around two to three gigabytes so you know what to expect now if you get any prompt while you're running this installation simply enter y which means yes then continue After downloading, it should extract the files and run the installation. And you would also get a prompt to delete the extracted file, which you can go with Y for yes and N for no, whichever you prefer. And Kali Linux has been successfully installed. Now ignore running this command kex. Instead run NetHunter. And then hit enter and then we can run kex password p-a-s-s-w-d for password now enter a password it is not going to be visible there but just enter a password um it has to be at least six characters so i'm just going to increase the password and then verify the password now we can run kex and
hit enter and you should see the RFB port right there 5901 now we can connect to NetHunter KX and then access Kali Linux so open NetHunter KX from your phone allow and then enter your password which we used earlier right there and then click on connect so here we go this is Kali Linux so basically this is how to install Kali Linux on your Android phone. Now you can use Kali Linux right here the same way you would be able to use it on your computer. To stop Kali Linux from running, simply head to your Termux and then type in kex stop and then hit enter and it should stop the program from running. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.